Hi Aries, welcome to your Spirit Guide Messages for May. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So these are the messages you may need to hear right now, um, Aries. It could be um, guidance, um, advice, clarity, confirmation, or maybe just something uh, you need to hear right now. So we may get several different types of messages. So take them how they resonate for you. If you feel like some don't resonate or some do, don't, <laughs> please only take what resonates for you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female watching. So welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well and staying safe at this time. I will be pulling three oracles from each deck and then I will be clarifying with the tarot, maybe like one or two tarot. And then I have prayer cards here, so I'll pull a prayer card for you at the end of the reading. So let's see what Spirit has to tell Aries at this time. If some of the messages here don't resonate for you or you feel like they're not for you, that's totally fine. You, that Maybe there's just uh, no messages for you this time. Hold out for future readings. Or you could check the description box below for your past um, playlist. Love in General is down there. And if you look under the general readings, you'll find the Spirit messages. And uh, I consider them all timeless, so you may go back. And watch previous readings if you like to. Also down below um, in the description box you can find the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, if you like to tip, donate, send a gift, anything like that. All that info is below and if you're new and you like my energy and style check out my channel like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Hit the bell you won't miss out. You get about five readings a month so if you do thank you. So, Aries, hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see, what does Spirit want to tell Aries at this time, please? Thank you so much for the collective. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading, and my candle just went out. So I have to put a new one because I like to have my candles all lit here. Has the flame gone out about something? Aries, are you not feeling passionate about something anymore? I don't know. We shall see. All right. So this is the Moonology deck. So Spirit, please, what does Aries need to know at this time? Wow, that's way too many. Okay, I think I'm gonna take those three right there. I'm gonna pull them all first. Um, if you would like me, you can leave me a comment if you would like me to pull them all first before I come on camera. I can do that, but I do like to shuffle before I come on camera um, on camera, so that you can see that the cards are not staged in any way. So please be patient with the shuffling. You can uh, skip ahead or speed up the reading. So what are the messages for Aries at this time? Spirit, thank you so much for the collective watching. Someone rising Jupiter, male or female. One, I'm feeling those two right there. So, like I said, we got the moonology, we have the numerology, and this is the soul's journey, and then we have the tarot of dreams, and then the prayer cards. I'm I got them at the Dollar Tree, so I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know who published them or what, but there were two packs that were different, and I said, oh, those are cute. So I bought them, mixed them together, and. I give you a prayer at the end. All right, so what are the messages for Aries at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much for Aries, for the collective. What does Aries need to know at this time? Male or female, sun moon rising. Oh, that's way too many. So I think that one is meant to stay. Two more. Oh, two more. Okay, let's see what we have for you, Aries. Actually, nope, I did that backwards. Those go there, okay. We have creativity, three. Three is about teamwork, collaboration. Yellow is the solar plexus energy. It's about um, who you are, your identity, your soul mission, your soul purpose, um, your creativity, your uh, originality. It's who you truly are. So maybe something here, uh, if you're feeling creative or it's time to get creative in some way, or working with others. Well, we're not all really working with others because we're in lockdown, but you know, there's other platforms, social media. 
So here we have comic completion, 10. 10 to round endings. And then there's always a new beginning. And <laughs> the flame went out there. So it could be a comic completion here. You know, the flame has gone out. It could be an ending. And we have 33 here, which is communication. So a lot of threes coming up here. If threes uh, are significant, significant to you, or you can look up the angel number, 333. But something needs communication here. So three, again, is about teamwork, collaboration kind of energy. And then add together six is about healing and balance. So there may be um, communication needed here that will bring healing and balance to a situation. If it's a karmic completion, it could be a friendship, it could be a lover, it could be a job, uh, something that's just no longer serving you, and maybe time to communicate. And here we have balance, spirituality, practicality, full moon in Pisces. So Pisces may mean something, or the season of Pisces, which is the end of February into March. So if that time frame or Pisces is significant to you, but Pisces does represent the moon and the high priestess in the tower, which is about um, higher knowing, intuition, spirituality, all that energy. So it's telling you here to balance that energy with practicality, with like the earthly energy, energies of the earth to uh, physical, tangible, tangible um, things in life too. And now we have here expect powerful change new moon eclipse and when i think of this i think of the tower and the tower is representative of aries and the tarot so some sort of powerful change coming in here and we have bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so an aquarius could mean something to you uh or the season of aquarius which is the end of january into february so we basically have the timeline here of the end of january because we have Pisces 2, which is the end of February. So the end of January into like mid-March. So if that time frame is significant for you for any reason at all, um, that's coming through here. So there could be a change coming up in that, that next time frame. Or maybe you just went through a powerful change. And the signs Aquarius Pisces may or may not mean anything. They could be signs in your chart or... You know, maybe somebody you know. And we have here regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So if you're regretting something here, it's, you know, something you can't change. And it's in the past. So maybe time to let go of that energy. And it could be over a karmic completion. And we have here fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So you may have regrets about some sort of comic completion or something in the past, which is maybe putting you in an energy of fear moving forward. And we have here service. I feel good when I can help others. So it's telling you here maybe, you know, maybe you like to donate or you like to volunteer uh, in some way, shape or form. Um, or maybe, you know, if you can do something to help out, maybe in this time of need in any way, uh, may make you feel better. If you feel like, you know, you're kind of not doing anything right now, if you're home, not working, uh, there's always something, a lot of people are making, you know, homemade masks for people, um, all kinds of things. All right. So let's clarify these energies for you, Aries. Let's see what all this energy is about and again these messages may or may not be for all of you or a selected few or you know take again whatever messages come out that resonate with you all right so let's clarify creativity here for aries here please what that was quick wow the chariot here so this is positive movement forward this is taking action success victory balance going forward with a lot of drive ambition so whatever you've um been feeling creative about or been wanting to do it's telling you here to start taking that positive movement forward into something creative maybe you've always felt a yearning to do um like a real passion for all right so what else what is this karmic completion 
for Aries spirit, please. Oh, we've got three cards. So we have the Eight of Coins, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Swords. So we have air sign here with the King of Swords. So this is, <coughs> sorry, speaking with uh, truth and clarity. Um, there, you know, it's about communication. It's also about cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, not backing down. Um, but something here, uh, brand new beginning, it could be in love, or you could be working here um, on a new career opportunity, something that you just totally love, like you've had mental clarity here. And, you know, the King of Swords does cut away things no longer serving them. So it could have been a job or a career or something here where you feel like, okay, this is just not serving me anymore. There isn't any more growth and expansion. You know, maybe just work doing the same thing day in, day out. And then, you know, a new opportunity comes in. And also this can be an energy of mastering something new, a new craft, working hard, having mental truth and clarity now moving forward and cutting away something no longer serving you. So take that how it resonates for you. Um, for some of you, it could be um, working on a new relationship or a new uh, love opportunity after a karmic completion. Could be with an air sign, uh, you know, working together, working slowly, steady, um, stable, secure kind of energy. But this is divinely guided energy with the Ace of Cups. So it's a brand new beginning in love. Having mental clarity here about cutting away what's no longer serving, no longer serving you and something new coming in, whether it's love or career orientated. All right. So what is this communication about for Aries? What is this communication about for Aries, the Nine of Wands. So this is a defensive kind of energy, being on guard and maybe, you know, feeling like maybe there's been, you know, someone in your life where it's been a struggle, a battle, a fight. Maybe it's been a lot of fighting, bickering, um, a lot of wounds, battles, you know, triggers between the two of you. But, you know, there needs to be communication here still. So let's see if we get one more. Let's see what that's about. It's saying, you know, the Nine of Wands is also that energy of not giving up, persevering on. So what else here? Wow, the Tree of Life. So this card rarely, rarely comes out. So this could be family. Because the, these are the roots of who you are. What's, you know, been planted. <laughs> In your roots so this definitely could have to do with uh, deep family roots friends kind of energy so if there's friends uh, or family I'm getting more family ties it could be uh, immediate family it could be you know distant family you know like cousins and aunts uncles that kind of energy too but this is all the intertwining of many generations of family so it could be, you know, something with the family here uh, where there's been a lot of fighting, arguing, bickering. But it's saying here, you know, things still need uh, communication, not to give up. So you can uh, stabilize the roots of this. All right, so, because these roots run deep and they're, you know, bonded. So <laughs> they're not going anywhere, so... All right, so, yeah, the King of Cups energy. This is in a more loving, caring, nurturing, giving, compassionate, peaceful, harmonious kind of energy. So there needs to be peace, harmony um, between you and family, I feel. More of a compassionate kind of energy. It's about, you know, King of Cups also kind of a healing kind of energy. All right, so what is this balance spirituality oh that's too many what is this balance spirituality oh we get two wow so we have the seven of cups and we have the nine of swords so this is a lot of confusion and having stress and fear and worry anxiety sleepless nights over something you're confused about so there definitely needs to be balanced in some way shape or form so i think um Maybe overthinking, overanalyzing, 
here, but it's saying to balance out your energy. So I think maybe you're, you know, just overanalyzing way, way too much. And it's really here time to balance out your energy because this is a very, con very, very confused, stressed kind of energy. So really, really needing uh, balance here um, to stop overthinking, overanalyzing. All right, so let's see if we get one more for that one because it seems kind of, you know, I just don't like leaving it where it is. So we got the three of coins. So this is about teamwork collaboration. If you need to get help from others, advice, guidance, um, advisement or something like that from somebody here who could, you know, work in finances or is very smart, practical, you know, can like really, really help you. The three of pentacles is about working teamwork, you know, working well with others. So there may be somebody around you or somebody you could get like professional help, counseling, uh, guidance or something about whatever situation that you're like really confused and stressed about. So you can balance out your energies. Could have to do with, with the Pisces or something maybe that just happened during the Pisces season, again, which would be the end of February into March. So expect a powerful change. What is that about? The Four of Cups. So this is being kind of bored and melancholy and some high block card, being kind of disenchanted, like just kind of bored with everything. Usually it's about love, like a missed opportunity or uh, no offers coming in or going out, not giving, not taking, not receiving, any kind of love, just feeling kind of blah. So there could be a powerful change. If you're in this energy of, you know, worried about an offer, this could be this stressed energy over here. But if you're worried about a love offer coming in or a missed opportunity or something like that, it's saying here there will be a powerful change. So let's see what that is about. So some sort of powerful change. What is that about for Aries? Ten of Swords. So this is an ending. An ending of some kind. So, okay, for some of you, if you are in a relationship where it's bore, boring, it's stagnant, it's not going anywhere, um, this could be just ending because we do have karmic completion over here. So this just could be finally ending a relationship of some kind, realizing I'm just not happy. You know, you may be, may be even looking at other people's cups and thinking, okay, if I'm in this situation... And I'm looking at others or have feelings towards others that maybe, okay, it's time to just like end the situation. So that may be for some of you. So what is bring love into the situation about new moon in Aquarius? So we got two new moons and we got one full moon. So full moon is about completions and cycles. And then there's something new. So you definitely could be ending a relationship here, maybe starting a new one already, or maybe there's somebody else that you've had a connection with for some of you. So we have here the wheel. So this is about fate, destiny, divine timing, things coming in that are meant for you, things going in a better direction. So whatever is coming your way here, uh, could be about love, a divine love coming in for you. Could be an Aquarius or something that may happen over the next Aquarius season or just happened in the past Aquarius season. But we have the page of swords here. So this could be an energy of, you know, spying on somebody online or just open, honest, truthful communication. Maybe expressing how, you know, truly feeling about somebody. All right. So what is this? Regret. What is this regret for Aries? The tower. And did I not just say the tower was Aries and here you are? So you may had an ending or maybe have an ending. Maybe you regret an ending of some kind or maybe just regretting the way it kind of ended here. Or if it's not that, it could be over like a fight, an argument or something that happened person, place, situation, and regretting how, you know, things turned out, how things went down. But, you know, it can't be changed now, so there's uh, no use of living in that energy. 
because we got the lovers here. So this is having peace, harmony, bliss. Um, you know, it can be about a lover or it can be just like internal bliss. And finally, you know, you're just coming together with yourself and realizing, okay, I release that energy. This is about choices, making that conscious choice to be at, you know, peace also. Or having, you know, peaceful resolutions with those you love and being in that state of happiness and joy. However, that resonates for you. So what is this fear about for you, Aries? What is this fear? I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And it could be about this regret, like I had said. The three of wands. It's about waiting, like waiting, waiting for the right time, waiting for your opportunity to come in. Patiently waiting here for your ship to come in. So, and this could be, you know, the fear of change, the fear of, you know, something else coming in for you that's meant to be, knowing that it's coming, and you could see it coming there, but you're like, you know, I'm scared of this, so whatever that is for you, it could be a person, place, thing, situation, new job. All right, so what is this service about? Your ship is coming in, so <laughs> so service. The Palace of Wands. Wow. So this is a this deck has uh, four palace cards, and they don't usually come out that often. But um, this is living in a pay, a place of pure excitement, joy, bliss, passion, like feeling really invigorated and like having a zest for life, excited about what you do. So whatever here, you know, I feel good when I can help others. So whatever that means for you, you'll be feeling like you're living out your soul purpose, your soul mission, feeling good inside, feeling happy and passionate and excited, you know, in your home life or in life in general. So we here have here at the bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. So this is about healing, thinking, contemplating, resting, rejuvenating. Of course, we're all in this Four of Swords energy here. So there may, you know, to be in a more peaceful, relaxed state. Maybe some of you need to get more sleep. Um, but, you know, the Four of Swords is also about healing, too. So it could be some, some of you um, probably need, some things here maybe that need heal, need healing or need to be healed here. All right, so let's see what your prayer is for Aries. What is Aries' prayer? Let's get a closing prayer for you. Aries. Get a closing prayer for Aries. All right, what is the closing prayer? For Aries spirit, please. Thank you so much. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and your plans will succeed. So this is be, being about committed to your journey, to whatever you plan to do, and you will succeed. And the universe wants to tell you that. Divine, source, your angels, your God, whoever for you wants to tell you that if you commit yourself to your journey, and do whatever you feel like you need to do, what needs to be done in any way, shape, or form, that it will be successful. Okay, Aries, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.